Yeah. So in previous session, we have discussed about how to write the API in microservice and uh, how to call that API in Web API Gateway and how to call the DB credentials from common API to microservice. Okay, so all those things we have discussed, but coming to real time here, see this diagram. See. Whenever request comes from web application or mobile mobile application, that request first go to the web API gateway, and then it will go to the microservice. Okay, that that means respect to microservice. For example, here see this. So this is the endpoint URL. Okay, so here training department. Okay, all are belongs to up to here. It will be available in Web API Gateway. After that, after that, that means this department DEPT that decides the microservice name. Okay, and in that controller, I am going to call that method get department details. Okay. In this method, I have called one microservice which belongs to the DEPT microservice. Okay. So here I have discussed with only one microservice example. Okay. So this microservice will take the connection parameters from common API and uh, after connecting to the DB. It will send that request to the database. If it is RDBMS, then it will call the store procedure. If it is no SQL kind of thing, it will use the query. Okay. So after getting the response from the DB, this microservice will return that response to the web API gateway and then it will go to the respective application. I mean web, web application or mobile application. Okay. So for example, here uh, I have you see this, see this diagram. There are so many microservices out there. OK, so I explain with only one microservice. Mm -hmm. So if I take another microservice kind of thing, then what to write, how to write the code? OK, so for this concept in this session, I am going to discuss. So earlier we have taken department microservice. Now I am going to take employee microservice. Okay. Once uh, we developed one microservice, then it is easy to create another microservice also. We just copy and paste it and uh, up to API level. Okay. So coming to the requirement, we have to write our own code. Okay. For remaining part, we just copy from previous microservice and paste in present microservice. OK, so that thing I am going to do. So. So this is the folder. So here. Common API. And uh, JWT Web API Gateway. Actually, we no, no need to open this, but for copy and paste kind of things, uh, it is better to open. Now I'm going to create one more microservice. 
see for this. Uh, first of all, create the API template and write the DB connection code and call the get config details method from common API. OK, and uh, uh, create one controller for EMP microservice. EMP so here SRC meanwhile uh, npm i express sorry sorry first of all npm init app dot ts next app dot ts and here npm i express for loading node modules and package dot log log dot json and here tsc init so tsconfig.json will be created and uh, source map becomes true. Output director here type dist and uh, no implicity where it is. Oh. So make it false. And go to the package.json here. Write start TSC and node dist slash yab dot TSJS. Okay. So now go to the department microservice. Okay. And here I'm going to take all this source folder and paste it here. OK. So everything is available. OK, now department schema means you can create employee schema. OK, and first app.ts no need to change db connection.ts okay why because both are same okay db connection.ts it is same for department microservice and other microservice also okay and here main thing is port number okay i am going to change into 7000 and uh, what are the new npms are there you need to install so here see this package.json and install axios and install mysql2 install mongoose In this department microservice, uh, four NPMs are there. Okay, make sure that that much number of NPMs should be there in employee microservice. Okay, so according to the requirement, you may add new microservices. Sorry, new new NPMs also. Okay, so all microservice all NPMs are available. 
and uh, okay so we will check whether this one is correct or not we will check it so by executing common api so if you execute this uh, employee microservice we should be able to connect we should be able to get uh, connected to mongodb connected to mysql kind of thing okay so go to the node modules mongos where it is yeah mongos types query dot dts now execute it Okay, two databases are connected. In this, here, uh, get department data API method and get department Mongo data API methods are there. Okay, so if you want to change uh, this method name and uh, if you want to do minor changes also, this APIs will work. Otherwise, if you want to write uh, new new APIs for new requirement, you can write it. Okay. Mm, first, I will check this uh, test API. Okay. So this is uh, go to the web API gateway and here in controllers. Okay. You create one controller that is belongs to employee controller dot TS. Okay. So in department controller, what you have done? So it is better to put comment, otherwise, you people get confused. Okay. So I am going to check this test service okay so in department controller whatever is there for testing the service see this up to here i am going to copy in microcontroller em, emp microcontroller and here i am going to change emp data that means this api method is used to check whether that microservice is calling or not okay and uh, and uh, here in api.ts Here we need to assign some name for EMP controller that is EMP con. <coughs> okay. okay, so you have to dot use EMP comma EMP con. Next. In this EMP controller in else block. Here write async. And here I want to call the EMP microservice. Okay. So still it is getting error.
EMT controller is uh, does not have export. So export equal to cap one. Okay, now it is okay. And uh, go to the here. Await axios dot post of HTTP colon local host port number is 7000 for EMP microservice slash. So this is the test service method and body. Then a sync result okay. so then block is there, so need to put catch block also. here if result that means if we are getting anything from microservice then only we will give that message like status code 200 or else uh, we will directly give what kind of message we are getting we will directly give that message that means res dot send of result dot data or as uh, in web API gateway we are taking result variable and uh, if you are taking uh, if you are using result variable in microservice also it does not have any problem okay both are different and if you are not getting any result in that case just give 201 as status code and no data or else uh, yeah no data available or no response so here npm start so what will be the endpoint url for this see go to the app.ts training so local host uh, what will be the port number 5000 5000 slash training if you click on this api then it will go to here Okay, so I want to call this get EMP data from employee controller. Okay, so in API EMP, we need to write slash EMP and if you click on this EMP controller, go to here, get EMP data. This is the endpoint URL for this get EMP data method. Okay. Here I am passing employee number and here earlier department number is there. So if the employee number is not available in request object, then we will we will have like error like uh, employee number is required okay so i am giving employee number 1 see employee number is required if i am giving employee number proper key name then welcome to department microservice that means this is okay so this is I didn't change this microservice name. Now see welcome to EMT microservice. Okay. 
So this is way to create another controller. OK, now we will check one by one MySQL and MongoDB. OK, so these things we are already discussed. OK, but I am discussing about EMP controller. So simply I am writing one procedure like uh, get underscore EMP data. That procedure is not available. It is available. EMP data service. So P underscore EMP number. So integer. So here uh, my intention is I am passing employee number in the request object. If that employee number uh, is not present in the database. So in that case, I have to get no data available. If the employee number is present in the database, I have to get the respective employee number detail. OK, so select star from EMP where EMP number equal to P underscore EMP number. Okay. So this is similar to what we have discussed on previous session department department microservice. So here this is the procedure name you just replace that procedure name and here EMP number EMP number EMP number that's it okay and coming to the microservice EMP microservice Sorry, this is EMP microservice. No? So coming to the Web API gateway. So in department. So this is the. API method in Web API gateway. I am just copying that API method. So. EMP and here EMP number EMP number and here port number is 7000. OK, so what will be the method name? This is the method name. I'm just copying this method name here. And execute it. And go to the microservice also execute again. And take this API method in Web API gateway and put it here. See. I am getting the data. I am passing one. If I give 10, then 10 employee number is also available. You check it. So one 10 is there. If I give 100, it is not available. So no data available kind of thing. It is coming. OK. So similarly, you can write the API for MongoDB. So MongoDB API means here. MySQL means call the store procedure and call this. Store, uh, create the store procedure and call the store procedure in API. Okay, that is the uh, processing steps. Okay, and MongoDB means create the schema for that collection and write the API in microservice. Call the microservice API in Web API Gateway. Okay, so here EMP. So these are the column names. Uh, EMP controller dot not controller schema dot ts. So 
just copy and paste it here and uh, change the names EMP schema. EMP employee schema. EMP schema and collection name is EMP. Yeah, the employee is there. OK, this is different. OK. So EMP. Their employee number is member and e name string and the cell number I think this uh, email, this schema is available in Node API solution. So CMD code dot EMP schema. Okay, same thing. I am again creating. Okay, here it is. Okay. Oh. Same. So you can copy and paste it from here also. Type now. In this microservice, you make uncomment this. EMP and here EMP employee schema and here employee number employee number that's it so go to the web API gateway and in this uh, we have uh, API method for department controller. I am taking that method. Okay. So change this into EMP and here 7000. This is the method name and put it here. So if you don't send employee number, then we have to give employee number is required. Okay. So now we will try. So where it is, this is EMP microservice. So method name is EM, get EMP Mongo details. Before going to hit the API, so what are the employee numbers are available? 198. Okay. So first we will check with the wrong key name. So employee number is required. Okay. And next we will check unknown employee number. That means 100 is not available. So no data available kind of thing we will get. So next uh, one is there. Employee number one is there. We will check so that one one d four thousand so one d four thousand okay so that employee number details are coming okay so today i didn't write any code 
just I am copying and pasting. OK, so my request is to you just observe what I am copying from where I am copying and where I am pasting. OK, so you just observe that. That is important. 